for as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. When times are good, be happy, but when times are bad, consider this, God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about their future. For we live by faith, not by sight. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. You make known to me the path of life, you will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity and honor. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? For, whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good, they must seek peace and pursue it. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The one who gets wisdom loves life, the one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. Whoever heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me, my only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. I hope you enjoyed these Bible verses about life. Let us know which ones inspired you, by leaving a comment. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.